You talked, we listened. Residents in the Valentine Evergreen Historic District say speeding is so bad, sometimes they can't sleep. Coming up, what actions would have been taken? Oh, sorry, we already had that, uh, but we want to let you know that neighbors there are concerned about traffic safety tonight. Now, earlier this month, we held one of our Let's Talk Town Halls in that community, and they told us a big issue they're growing tired of is the speeding I mentioned. Our Brittany Moncrief spent the day along Jackson Avenue in North McLean, where folks say the speeding has just gotten out of hand. Brittany, is anything being done to tackle these neighbors' concerns? Well, Richard, first take a look at this fence right behind me. Now, residents say that this fence has been hit and knocked down several times because of drivers speeding and running red lights. It's such a big problem that even the, almost the entire neighborhood has gotten together to fight to fix the problem. Day after day. The cars are using our streets as the Indy 500. Valentine Evergreen Historic District residents say Jackson Avenue and North McLean Boulevard is a speed zone. All day long. Ursula Williams has lived here more than 20 years, and she says in the past five years, the speeding has gotten worse. We have bike lanes and we have um, the children. You know, someone may get hit by one of these cars. Uh, neighbor at the corner there, she's constantly uh, replacing her gate because they keep running that light. Speed bumps are, are, are dire here. A need most at our Let's Talk Town Hall also wants. Sometime on the weekend, which is the worst, you can't hardly get into sleep. So residents apply for speed bumps. The city of Memphis says the fire department approved that request and it's currently pending a traffic study. City Councilwoman Michael Lynn Easter Thomas says the Division of Traffic Safety Engineering has two separate processes, one for temporary speed bumps and another for permanent speed bumps. They come and do a traffic study. They see what's allowed and then what's suggested and then they are put on a list determined by funding and time. Unlike temporary speed bumps, which is prioritized by traffic accidents and are only installed five years. I was able to get temporary speed bumps along McLean, temporary speed bumps along University, temporary speed bumps along Valentine because it goes up into a school zone. But unfortunately, look. Drivers on the wrong side of the road rushing to bypass those honoring the speed bumps. Please take a second look at us. Send some engineers out and take a look at, the, at this neighborhood. And Councilwoman Easter Thomas says last year, City Council put additional funds in the pot to make sure that those requests get off the wait list faster and that the process is fairer. Now, as for Jackson Avenue, the city says that that is a state route and it's not eligible for speed bumps. They also say that the entire process of getting speed bumps could take up to two years. Live in the Valentine Evergreen Historic District, I'm Brittany Moncrease.